Hello there. I'd like to show you a Dalek Terror, a record, a vinyl record no less, that is coming out exclusively on Record Store Day, which is tomorrow as I make this video, namely Saturday, June the 12th, 2021, for the year purists. So yeah, two vinyl records and look at this cover. It's two Daleks blasting the hell out of stuff. You can't say fairer than that, can you? I mean, one Dalek blasting the hell out of stuff is always exciting, but two practically back to back fighting off the odds. Well, that's good stuff. That is Dalek terror in my book. Yeah, it's two 140 gram vinyl records in extermination splatter. I think we're looking forward to seeing that. And obviously I'm going to unbox this right now for your pleasure. So on this record, there are eight audio versions of stories that originally appeared in Dalek annuals uh, like this. I don't know if it's these precise Dalek annuals. Maybe we'll find out when I look inside the record. But nevertheless, it's this type of thing. Look at these glorious covers. I could do a video about these covers alone, and maybe I will. If you'd like to see that, let me know down in comments. Getting back to Dalek Terror, uh, on the back here we can see that these stories are all written by Terry Nation and they're read by the likes of uh, Matthew Waterhouse and Louise Jameson. Let's open this up. What do you use to open up vinyl records? I find this quite difficult. I tend to use a pin like this and I think that's far from ideal. What method do you use? Tell me down in the comments. Mmm, yeah, satisfying removal of cellophane. Okay, it's the big moment. What's inside the gatefold? Is it more Daleks or is it? Well, let's see what it is. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I thought that was a load of Daleks all clustered together there, but it seems to be a sort of um, a city. I'm letting you see this first. This is how much I value you, you know. But uh, let me also take a look and see exactly what this is. Okay, that looks like some kind of Dalek city, doesn't it? That's why it looks like a load of Daleks. Uh, a few more details in there. Sound design and vinyl edition produced by David Darlington. Exec produced by my old mate Michael Stevens. Lovely fella. So, um, and so is David Darlington. Don't get me wrong. So let's have a look at the vinyl as well. I think that's what we want to see. We want to see the extermination splatter, don't we? Yes, we do. And we also want to see what's on the inner sleeves. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Looks like some kind of Dalek scout party with the city in the background there. Yeah, these are pretty nice illustrations here. I mean, this is pretty impressive for a, a record store day release. I must admit, I'm not entirely sure how these record store day um exclusives work yeah i don't know if they're like strictly limited edition or whether they get repressed tell me down in comments because as much as i love record stores i must admit i haven't had too much to do with record store day partly because record store day doesn't tend to include the type of music that i'm into which is kind of you know thrash metal and stuff like that sometimes it does oh by the way um i've got a new or a relatively new metal channel side channel side hustle that i started in february so look down in the in the video description there for a link to that if you want to check it out it's called possessed by metal so on lp1 we've got terror task force read by nick briggs uh, Dalek Genius, also read by Nick Briggs. Mark 7 Humanoid Robot, read by Matthew Waterhouse. Exterminate, 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 which is clearly the best name for a story ever, read by Louise Jameson. Oh, and these particular stories, it actually tells you, uh, are taken from the Dalek Annual 1976, which I don't think I have here. I might have it somewhere, but not here right now. Damn it. Anyway, look at that. Right, let's have a look at the vinyl. Oh, oh yeah, you're gonna like this. Wow. Look at that for a color, eh? Yeah, that's nice and bright. It's kind of translucent when, this, when you get the sunlight through it. That's, um, that's very nice. Sorry, I keep getting reflections on there. But um, yeah, I think you'll agree, that's a bit special. And we've got one other record to look at. So let's see if that is the same color. Uh, vinyl wise and let's also see what's on the insert it might be the same insert picture perhaps is that the same it's not quite the same 
No, it's sort of like, <laughs> it's like a variation on the theme. There's like, yeah, interesting, interesting. On LP2, you've got Anatomy of a Dalek, read by Nicholas Briggs. Uh, Blockade, read by John Culshaw. Earth Scarrow Timescale, read by Louise Jameson. And Nightmare, read by Matthew Waterhouse. Uh, and these are taken, the side C stories are taken from the Dalek Annual 1979, which I do have here. Thank God. Yeah, there we go. So it'll be based on stories in this. So it'll be like... Give me a moment. Yeah, so Blockade is uh, presented in this annual in this particular way. And then you've got Anatomy of a Dalek, which is quite a classic um, piece in this annual where it shows you all inside the Dalek and shows you a load of stuff inside. Just for a bit of merriment, let's have a look at um, a couple of these Dalek parts and the explanations for them. Number five, for instance, corresponds to this. These super sensitive bands vibrate when there is a malfunction in the Dalek system. At present, these vibrations can only be uh, detected by Dalek repair technicians. Okay, but ADF scientists are at this moment developing a scanner that will enable ADF agents to detect the vibrations. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Did you have a certain word count to meet there, Terry? Um, Dal <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I love this stuff, but you know. It's funny, isn't it? Daleks with vibrating bands act in a manner that cannot be predicted. Right, okay. Let's have a look at another one. Yeah, let's have a look at the description of the sucker cup. Yeah, the sucker cup control arm gives the Daleks far more manual dexterity than might be imagined, yes. The vacuum created by the cup enables the Dalek to lift amazing weights and the rod in the center of the cup fits directly into a Dalek hover, hover bout, hover bout, hmm, control column, giving the Dalek perfect control. That is absolutely marvelous, I'm sure you'll agree. Yeah, so that's interesting. Very nice indeed, and uh, we can see, I can confirm that the vinyl color inside uh, the second LP is the same, but I don't think we can dock points for that because it's a lovely color, yeah. Very nice indeed. Look at that. That is, if extermination could be uh, distilled and captured in vinyl, then my friends, this is how it would look. So, how do you feel about Record Store Day? I think there are two this year, and as I said earlier, the first one is tomorrow, which is Saturday, June the 12th. So, are you going to go along to your record store? Are you going to pick this up? Have you bought any Doctor Who artifacts before on Record Store Day? Get down in comments and also tell me what you think about this one. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, and I also hope you return for the next one. Until then, don't forget to embrace your obsession.